mathematical principle which I'll try to explain as coherently as possible I try to do these things like you know I can't really outright and say certain things because you know how that is there's a lot of censorship and uh, can't say certain things or certain words so which is pretty ironic because uh, as they say the truth doesn't need defending so it's interesting when you see a lot of uh, heightened defense around speech you know um, you know that uh, what they're defending can't be um, I can't say it's it can't be true but it's unlikely but anyway this whole trust me bro phenomenon I'll give you some examples I'll give you some examples of the trust me bro like there are certain things that we know you know to the best of our knowledge with the scientific advancements we have and our engineering and design and whatnot and the best way to spot something that's fishy or something that part of our history that's grabbled quote-unquote or um, not as they as they tell us I don't like to say they because people freak out but not as we're uh, as we're told mainstream uh, a lot of the time the stuff we hear from historical events is uh, very skewed and not exactly what what happened and um, a lot of the stuff is based on trust me bro because it's like uh, you look at something like an event that happened in the 60s where we allegedly went to a very bright ball in the sky and uh, now we just don't have the technology like mainstream astronauts will tell you that we don't have the technology to go back so it's like we we have only so many technologies in history that have gone in reverse that one seems to be one of them another one is cremation technology about 40 years ago we had an event where there was uh, you know massive bodies that were uh, how do you say disposed of and based on modern technology modern cremation technology with you know we've got like high temperature kilns and they're functioning on crazy special oxidized fuels so they could get the higher temperatures they can only burn one body every one to two hours and that's with our modern day technology but again 40 years ago they were doing 100 times that in some cases a thousand per day so again trust me bro situation then we have um you know when i was a kid i learned about uh viru infectu and uh virusu and we were told and something that really sticks with me is uh anything that i learned in those formative years up until five years old and a bit after but what we were told and a lot of you guys watching will remember this as well is that once you get the flu or any type of infection or sickness or what have you for the for the season you can't get it again you can't get it again this i remember hearing this they always told us that whenever we would get sick the week later we come back to school and if we tried sniffling they'd tell us nope you're not sick you're already sick you already got the bug for this year but for some reason over the past couple years that was out the window another trust me bro situation so i don't know if it's like either they were lying back then or they're lying now or they were wrong back then or they're wrong now they couldn't have been right back then and right now because it's two conflicting opinions so this whole trust me bro situation like uh it's very interesting because <coughs> excuse me the trust me bro is uh it said it's biblical because in the bible it actually says that faith is the evidence of things unseen right so like faith a lot of atheists or agnostic or whatever they want to call themselves um will say that their life is not faith-based but humans were we're kind of wired not kind of we are wired to live a life of faith because we can't know everything you know as humans we we kind of are um we're very uh how do you say we 
we like to think that we could say we know certain things with certainty you know we're very prone to wanting to know something and saying that we know something or we know the ins and outs completely of a certain subject but for the most part that's not the case like i don't know everything i don't know there's a ton of things that i don't know you know and uh, most of us know that we don't know everything but it's still human nature to want to know everything and and get to the bottom of everything so this this faith-based lifestyle is is in all of us we all live off of faith whether we're looking to a scientist or scientific paper that we've never looked into or never read or we're looking to you know to a higher power like i i like to um put my faith in the creator you know there are lots of um the, there's another another trust me bro is like if you put a pile of wood in your in your backyard and you just leave it there how many years do you think it would take before the pile of wood constructs itself into a chair or a table or even even a, a fence post something simple you know how many years 10 years 15 years 1500 years 20,000 years a million years we've never witnessed this you know we've never witnessed something come from nothing the laws of entropy dictate that you know things are always degrading we don't have things over time creating other things or assembling themselves in a in a in a such a way that implies design but again it's a trust me bro it's like oh millions of years it happened everything we see that's perfectly appears perfectly designed was actually the uh the the product of millions of years of evolution that's another trust me bro we have the um the famous pressure gradient of our atmosphere which is you know anyone that deals with tanks or psis or anything like that you know that to have pressure you need a barrier in order to contain that pressure but on earth we have this trust me bro where it's like oh there's a pressure gradient and we have 76 quintillion times less pressure in alleged space that's 76 quintillion times less pressure so it's not 10 times less it's not 50,000 times less it's 76 quintillion 76 with 18 zeros that's so billion would be nine trillion would be 12 right quadrillion would be 15 and then quintillion would be 18 zeros so 18 zeros times less pressure 76 quintillion trust me bro works out fine i mean if you've ever seen like a, a paint gun how it works right there's a tank the tank is higher pressure than the outside of the tank and when you press the nozzle it's depressing a chamber or a door per se that's opening that's allowing the higher pressure paint to come to the lower pressure area where there's no compressed air so if you picture our earth as being the the reservoir of paint and space being the non-reservoir how is it possible that our atmosphere doesn't go outside anyway there's all kinds of explain away answers but it's just to say like the whole trust me bro it's based on faith we're all faith ba faith based none of us can say we aren't and i think on both sides both the deistic theistic whatever you want to call it religion side and the science religion side both sides want to say that our lives are not faith-based but at the end of the day there's no escaping it all our all of our lives are faith-based and it's a matter of where you put your faith so once you know that stuff like there's no there's no freaking out you could just look at an event and if the square root is a trust me bro then you know there's something as a skew and you don't have to freak out about it or get spooked but it's just know that it's another uh it's another tricky situation you know so i just wanted to to get on and say that give my thoughts on the trust me bro and uh yeah we all live based on faith so it's who are you putting your faith in
Are you gonna defer to to God, you know, or are you gonna defer to man who can be wrong or can be right? Like look, look at uh, in the fifties or sixties, scientific consensus was that smoking, smoking cigarettes was not that it wasn't bad for you, that it was actually healthy, beneficial to your health, you know. So it's like I had a, a teacher, like a history professor back in the day. And he, uh, he used to tell me, well, he told the whole class, he used to say, like, the correct answer on the test is not necessarily the truth. Because he was teaching history, right? So he got it. He was a European guy, but he toured Africa, so he knew what was up. And he said, it's not necessarily the truth. The correct answer, you're, you're getting quizzed on the curriculum. So if our, if our class is telling you the sky is green, when that exam comes around, you write the sky is green and you get a check mark on your exam and you pass. You don't say the sky is blue even though it's true that the sky is blue. So just something to think about.